Hey y'all, it's Crow here again. Uh, I actually just got done uplo uploading a video about believing in yourself. And, you know, I want to say up front that a lot of the videos that I make will all intertwine together. And so just keep that in mind. Um, in fact, there's been several that I made recently that you should go check out. And the ones that really come to my mind um, would be conquering fear and trust issues. I will tell you right now, that is one of the biggest accomplishments that you can ever make in your life. Okay? And I really want all of you to make that accomplishment if you struggle with it. Okay? So, this video is actually more along the lines about reserving your seats at your table for the people that belong in it okay and what made me think about this subject i'm actually out here in the garage right now and i've got a swing arm bag that i'm trying to put on my harley and the thing about that is is i have to remove the passenger peg in order to install it well one of the passenger pegs but when it's all said and done, you got to remove both of them. That way it looks the right part and all that. Okay. So with that being said, what does that have to do with reserving seats at your table? Okay. So here's the thing. I have been approached multiple, multiple times by other, you know, by women asking me if I would be willing to give them a ride on my bike. And... The only woman right now in my life that I would consider doing that for is my mother, okay, or my aunts or, you know, family members and stuff like that. Because here's the thing, that bike is extremely personal to me. In fact, all my motorcycles are, okay. Right now, I have two that belong to me, but my stepdad, he's got, well... I'm counting four right now here in the garage that over the course of time we need to go through and get them back up on the road because I want to ride with my family. I think that would be the coolest thing ever. But the point is, is while I have the ability to let people, you know, jump on the back with me, the thing is that, that seat is reserved for my future lady, okay? And the thing is, to me, like I said, this is an extremely personal thing for me. When I'm on a bike, you know, it is literally and figuratively the doorway to freedom. But at the same time, it can also literally and figuratively be the doorway to disappointment. A.K.A. breaking down. A.K.A. things that you're not able to repair. A.K.A dropping the list goes on but the point is is that when it boils down to it that is my lady seat all right and like i said every single time that i get approached and asked that question i always say the same thing the answer is no i'm sorry but this seat is reserved okay and there's nothing wrong with people out here giving random people rides on their bikes and stuff like that. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, me personally, in my life, as I've said before, it is just one of those things that I'm in a position in my life, in a point in my life, where I'm done with dead-end relationships and people approaching me to use me for what I have versus, you know around me and in my life for who I am, okay? And there will be a lot of people that come into your life that want to be a part of it, but for the sole purpose of what they can gain or benefit off of you, okay? And you have to understand that. You have to understand that not every single person out here that you meet is your friend, okay? By the time it's all said and done, as you get older you will realize that the amount of friends that you have will probably fit on one hand and at the max, the second hand. That is it. That is it. And that's not counting your family. 
Alright? So, with that in mind, just always, always remember, do not hand out seats to your table to just anybody. The people that are worthy of being in your life and a part of your life are people that are willing to put in the effort and the work to get to know you for you and who you are, not what you're able to give them. Okay? Just keep in mind, the people that care about you are going to be there at your lowest points, are going to want to be a part of your life at your lowest points. All right? And then once they're there and they show that they want to be there and they're willing to be there, regardless of if you try to cut them out of your life or not, those are the real people. And I can tell you that from extreme personal experience. Now, there's a lot of things about me that people don't know out here. And when I say that I've literally been at the rock absolute bottom, believe that. Okay? And that's why I'm doing these things, because I don't want to see anybody ever have to go through the experiences that I've gone through myself. I don't ever want to see that. I want to prevent that. Okay? That's why I do these things. I'm trying to share the love. I'm trying to share the knowledge that I've gained and the bad experiences that I've had. Because if I can do this stuff, if I can get out here and conquer my fears and conquer all of the terrible things that have happened to me and start a new and complete chapter in my life, then anybody can. Alright, again, I love you guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. And if you need anything at all, feel free to get in contact with me. My email is in the description, and I'm working on a way to make it to where you guys can text me worldwide. Doesn't matter. I will answer. I do not charge for any advice given. I will not charge for any advice given. Again, I want to stress, I am not a registered life coach. I'm just a regular, everyday, normal guy going through life like the rest of us are. Alright, again, I love y'all. Peace.